This is our adding integers hot air balloon example. So for this example, we've got two different things that we are thinking about. Uh, we can think about maybe adding some balloons on top of the balloon, like that. Or we could add weights to the bottom. I guess I should put it on the basket down here. We'd attach weights to the bottom. So our balloons that we could add to the top, here, I'll add some little tails there. The balloons that we could add to the top of our hot air balloon, those are going to be our positive numbers. And if we add balloons to the top of our hot air balloon. Let's pretend they're, you know, helium balloons that can float. These are going to lift our balloon higher, kind of like the movie Up. On the other side, if we added weights to the bottom of our balloon, it would make it heavier, which would then pull our balloon down. So those are going to be our negative numbers. And just like we did if you watched the soup example, we're gonna use a vertical number line to help us with this. Okay, so here's our setup. We've got our hot air balloon here to remind us what we're doing. We've got Reminders here to tell us that positive numbers are the balloons that we attach on top. And these are the weights. The negative numbers are weights that we would add to the bottom. And just like we talked about before, our problem is going to give us a start position. And then the next number is going to tell us whether we're adding balloons to the top of our balloon or weights to the bottom of the balloon. We're going to use a really simple example first again. So this three is going to tell us that our balloon starts this high off the ground. It's floating in the air. And then the second number tells us whether we're adding weights or balloons. And because it's a positive two, that tells me that I'm adding two balloons to the top of my hot air balloon, which is going to lift my balloon up higher into the or higher up into the air. So I start at three. I'm going to move up higher two spaces, and my answer is five. And I know you already knew that, like you always do, but this is a good way to make sure that we are understanding the number line and our balloons, our positive and negative numbers correctly. So we got the answer that we thought we were gonna get, so I think we're on the right track. Now what would happen if we changed the problem up just a little bit and instead of adding two, we added negative two? We are still starting at the same height at three. So I'm gonna mark my number line at three. That's where we're starting. But instead of adding those balloons to the top, for some reason, I'm deciding to add two weights to the bottom. And if I'm weighing my balloon down like that, instead of getting higher and higher into the air, I'm going downwards closer to the ground. So this tells me that I'm adding two weights. I'm gonna get lower which means I'm going in a downward direction. So two spaces down gets, gets positive one as the answer. So there we go. I've gotten lower than I started. Another example, we're starting at negative two, so it's like we're just getting off the ground. Um, then we're adding five. So it looks like we're adding a bunch of balloons up here at the top. This is really starting to look like up the movie. Okay, so if we add this many balloons to the top, 
our balloon is going to rise. It's going to get higher off the ground. So I need to go in an upward direction five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And my answer is going to be positive three. Okay, here's our final example. We're starting at negative one, so we're pretty low here. And for some reason, we want to get even lower. Because it looks like we're adding negative two, which means we're adding two weights to the bottom of our balloon. All right, so if we're adding two weights to the bottom of the balloon, we're gonna get even lower than we, we already are. So I need to go down in a downward direction, two spaces, and that ends at negative three. So my answer for this one is negative three.